Welcome to Math with Professor V. In this video, I want to quickly make sense of one of the most confusing chapters in Calculus 3, Vector Calculus. Now, students often get overwhelmed. There's so many formulas, so many theorems going on, but really you just need to ask yourself this one question over and over. Am I computing work or flux? Because basically that's all you're doing. Now let me show you how it breaks down. I'm gonna fill in this chart with you. And the more you understand how it all comes together and you can fill it in or complete it on your own, you'll be in business, the better off you'll be. So let's start on the left. Notice I have two rows because all we're computing for the most part in this chapter is work or we're computing flux. When we first studied work in the beginning of the chapter, we were given a vector field and a curve. So the way that we computed work is we evaluated the line integral of that vector field f dotted with dr. All right, that's a line integral. Then we studied a little bit more and learned about flux. Now when you're learning or computing flux, you're looking at a vector field crossing a surface. So how did we first study or evaluate flux? Well, it was a surface integral of our vector field f dotted with n ds, n is normal to our surface. That's the surface integral. Now, we practiced evaluating work and flux using the definition, using these integrals, and then the magic comes in. We learn Stokes theorem and the divergence theorem. They basically bump you up a dimension and allow you to compute work and flux more easily. So Stokes theorem, let's recall, that helps you compute work. Stokes theorem. And remember, it's a surface integral now, not a line integral. So surface integral over f, over s of the curl of f dotted with n ds. Good. That's to compute work. Then you lastly usually learn the divergence theorem. And the divergence theorem allows us to compute flux. It replaces the surface integral for flux with a volume integral for the divergence. So you evaluate the triple integral over E of the divergence of F dV. And usually these two are easier to compute than the direct definition. Notice we're bumping up a dimension. This line integral 